talk about it every single time we do traffic with Erin Fox or Irma G. The ongoing power cuts, now stage three, is uh, causing chaos as far as traffic is concerned. It's not just in Joburg, it's around the country, but we do know the Joburg Metro Police Department, or JMPD, has deployed people to try and assist in bringing order to intersections where the robots are not working. Well, joining us, JMPD spokesperson Kudnolani uh, Fichler, uh, joining us this morning to talk about how we can try and make this a little bit easier for everybody. Olani, good morning to you. I appreciate the time. The reason for our conversation is so many people asking about points people, pointsmen at the intersections. Is it the JMPD's job to direct traffic? Let's start there. Good morning, Olani. Uh, good morning to you and thank you for this opportunity. Yes, uh, one of our core mandates uh, is traffic management and that is also uh, directing traffic at uh, busy intersections. Uh, we know that uh, load shedding has been uh, going on for a couple of years, uh, but uh, this year I think it has been uh, a bit harder. So uh, earlier this year, I think it was about March, the current acting chief of uh, police, uh, Director Tulani Kanyule, did issue a directive that officers must uh, take up a point duty. That's uh, during peak hour periods in the morning and in the evening. And uh, with that, we have uh, seen a lot of officers at the busiest intersections throughout the city of Johannesburg, just trying to alleviate this congestion and make it easier for motorists. Uh, because a lot of questions, Lani, as well, and I'm sure people appreciate the JMPD and what they're doing. Is there enough people to try and cover all of Joburg? And, and forgive me, South Africa, we are going to try and go around all the metros, but Joburg uh, is one of the big ones as well at the moment. Are there enough JMPD staff to, to do this effectively? Would you like to see more points people at intersections? Is it possible? Uh, unfortunately, I can say that we don't have enough staff to be at every single corner and every intersection, and that's uh, due to our various responsibilities. It's, uh uh, our other core mandates, with the, which is crime prevention and bylaw enforcement. And we know that we have a, a regular protests within the city of Joburg and other emergencies. So officers, unfortunately, can't be at every corner and in, every intersection. Yeah. But we do have assistance by Traffic Free Flow, which is sponsored by our insurance. They are uh, assisting us uh, uh, tremendously in ensuring that uh, um, the members of public, especially motorists, are navigated through this uh, uh, congestion easily. But but we are also in the process of uh, training uh, traffic wardens. I think by the end of October, they'll be done at the academy. It's about uh, 80 traffic wardens that we are training, and hopefully these uh, boots on the ground will also assist a lot in ensuring that we alleviate this congestion. And that's exactly where I was going to go to next as well. How do we try and get more people trained up? So you say there is a uh, pointsman academy, there's a points people academy as well. Uh, because a lot of people are asking questions, Olani, and I asked this to your predecessor, forgive me for bringing uh, Wayne Minai into this, I asked him the question okay. around those people who are obviously not JMPD, they're not out insurance, they're not formal points people, they're not qualified, uh, if I can call it that, in Joburg. Mm -hmm. You'll often find it's vagrants who are on the side of the road, they just suddenly mm -hmm. jump in and start directing traffic. Mm -hmm. And Wayne said to me that they shouldn't be doing that. And my counter argument was, while I understand that, most people sitting in the traffic will welcome the help. Can we not formalize those people who are already helping? Can we not employ them, get them trained up to stand at the intersections that they're already standing at? We can't just ignore them because they are helping the traffic. Mm -hmm. Uh, definitely, uh, I'd be lying in saying that some of them are doing a, a commendable job. Uh, others are just uh, taking advantage of, of the opportunity, and we find that they do tamper with uh, traffic lights within the city just to get an incentive. But uh, some of them are doing a commendable job. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there are financial and budget uh, implications when uh, hiring or uh, giving pe a person a stipend for doing such a job. So we do encourage uh, a business all the community within the city of Johannesburg to come forward just as our insurance did come forward and assist in sponsoring a traffic free flow and ensuring that people are firstly trained and they are authorized to be controlling traffic within the, the city of Johannesburg. So it is a call to uh, major businesses uh, throughout the city to come and assist the city in uh, uh, sponsoring these people and we'll ensure that we do uh, train them and they get out on the road and they assist their motorists.
All right, so there we have Business of Johannesburg, Business of South Africa. There's a challenge for you. If you can find a sponsor, we can get more points, people trained up. Well, Lani, just before I say goodbye to you for now uh, as well, can anybody become a points person? You spoke about this academy. What credentials do you need? What qualifications do you need before you can get into the academy? Maybe someone's at home watching this going, I've got some free time in the morning and afternoon. Maybe I can do this. Who can be a points person? Okay, uh, with the academy at this present moment, it's uh, traffic wardens that are being trained. It's not necessarily pointsmen. Traffic wardens have uh, other duties. Uh, within the city of Johannesburg, traffic wardens are, are also uh, able to uh, stop vehicles and also assist with uh, bylaw enforcement within the city of Johannesburg. But uh, credentials is that you must uh, have a matric certificate and it's an advantage to be having a driving license. But uh, we are welcoming uh, people People who are willing and able and once those opportunities are open again as I said that uh, the current group are about uh, to uh, finish uh, at the Academy in October so once that is done hopefully the city will advertise uh, more posts and will uh, employ more people to assist uh, well Lani, I can hear people on social media asking me to to ask you this question how does the JMPD decide what intersections to send points people to it sometimes does seem a bit disjointed I know there's staffing issues you can't be everywhere how do you make that decision say for example one robot along Bay is Nordia one robot along say William Nickel but then you travel down the road a kilometer and those traffic lights are out so it doesn't really help the situation what's the thinking behind where uh, points people are deployed. Uh, our uh, deployment is uh, based on uh, uh, the studies that we've done and uh, what we've seen is that uh, um, main arterials uh, throughout the city have uh, major traffic congestions. In uh, Soweto we know it's uh, Krasani Road. In the Four Ways area it's uh, William Nicole and on Witkopen Road. So uh, we uh, prioritize main arterials and areas where we where we do get calls that there is a, a major congestion even outside of the peak hour periods where we do get calls and we uh, make sure that officers are dispatched in those areas uh, all right well Lani, this really will be my last question forgive me uh, what is the situation legally what happens if people in Johannesburg we spoke about those uh, vagrants earlier at the robots who are directing traffic legally what should a driver be doing if they being directed uh, by those people. Should we be listening or should we be ignoring them? Because they are helping us get home quicker. But what is the law on something like that? What are we supposed to do as drivers? Mm -hmm. uh, with the National Road Traffic Act, uh, we know that it does say that when traffic lights are not working, we should treat that intersection as a compulsory stop or as a four-way stop. Uh, but when we do find uh, those unauthorized people controlling traffic, we're advising motorists uh, to take extra caution because uh, if uh, anything can happen, an accident or an injury might happen when an unauthorized person is controlling traffic. Unfortunately, the city won't be liable because that person isn't deployed by the city or isn't recognized by the city. So unfortunately, the city won't be liable. So we're just requesting uh, motorists to be extra careful when uh, navigating uh, through intersections where unauthorized people are uh, controlling traffic. Unfortunately, uh, for members of a public, a normal person wouldn't know uh, the, the difference if a person is authorized on or unauthorized. So just make sure that you take extra caution when navigating through that intersection. Oh, it's good advice as well, especially for insurance as well, because if it's an unauthorized person, you might have insurance issues if you end up in a bit of a smash at an intersection. Uh, Olani, thank you so much indeed uh, for your time. Olani Fichler, JMPD spokesperson. Hopefully we answered a lot of your questions. End of October, we're expecting 80 more points people in Joburg but the challenge is out there there are spaces for points people if we can find companies to sponsor them Here's